check it out guys, this is the view from the place we're staying at. All of this used to be ghetto, kind of like this. I'm sure this building used to be pretty ghetto too. It's nicely done now. But that's what they're doing here, they're just tearing all these buildings down, fixing them up. And just making them look really nice and making them expensive as fuck. I don't know if you guys can see that, that's a vulture up on that post. And they're everywhere around here. And where I'm staying, they're like outside the window. It's just kind of, it's not scary, it's like, what the? Now, in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm back in Casco Viejo. And I am staying with Eric, a friend of mine from Denver, and one of his uh, friends. I'll show you guys that a little in a little bit, and what it's all about. But yeah, this is the the most the southern part of Casco Viejo, which is it has been redeveloped. So it's a bunch of uh, expensive buildings now. All these ones are still not redeveloped, but it's safer here. Or how can I say it? Like all the poor people have been pushed more to the north, and all that is left is these buildings, which in a few years will be made into expensive condominiums and luxury apartments. So guys, it's one of the main streets here. We're still in the southern tip of Casco Viejo and then it ends right here. But check it out, I want to show you guys something. All the way to the end, it's just surrounded by water. And they're making this highway that goes around a little part of Panama. So it alleviates the traffic here and that's the highway. So it goes from that point goes all the way around, all the way around Casco Viejo and ends at the city again, back there, like the new Panama City. But I actually haven't been down south to that place, so I'm gonna go there now. Alright guys, so it's a better view of what I was telling you. That's the causeway that takes you to Panama, new Panama City. And that's the main bridge, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's the main bridge over there. Over there, there's a section called Amador, which I really want to go to. There's like a plaza, and I've heard that it has a pretty good nightlife over there. Uh, now, to get there, you have to go through the ghetto. So, you have to go to uh, Casco Viejo, pass the ghetto part of Casco Viejo, and get to Amador. So, I think it's better to just take a taxi. Now, back here is a plaza, it's called Plaza Francia. Now, don't quote me on this, but I believe this used to be a um, fort for the Spanish colony I'm not really sure so it used to be a fort and this used to just be like a little courtyard they had so here's a better way to show what I was explaining now look at this view right here that's the view of the new Panama City of course really 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 modern but you guys see this bridge right here that's what I was telling you guys about So I think this is a really good shot. You have old Casco Viejo right there, old city, old Panama City, and then the new city over here. I hope you guys can see this on the camera. Such a change. Now, so just so you guys know, the, the Casco Viejo that is right here, it's uh, it's not. It was the first one, the first city, and then there's a second one, and then there's a third one. I haven't been to the second one. It's called Antigua, Panama, and that's where the city center was for a few years after Casco Viejo. We uh, look how tourist this place is from now on. Catering to the gringos. So very typical of the colonial town. The touristy colonial town has like, what? A church every five meters? Same here, there's a lot of churches here, but the difference here is that they're actually closed. Most of them are like, they were like abandoned, they were closed down. They're trying to uh, reopen them. But uh, I want to show you guys something in a little second. There's a lot of govern government buildings here. So even though the new Panama is somewhere else, a lot of the government buildings stay here. Some of them. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is like presidential buildings. The president's supposed to live here. 
So as you guys can tell from here, all of the entrances to that little 3x3 three three section are closed off. And it makes sense, you know. It is the president. We came to a couch surfing meeting, which I'm looking for the restaurant right now. But yeah, I like this really nice little area right here because it's, uh, it's not very touristy. It's more locals and it looks like, it still looks like it might be expensive, but uh, it's just more down to earth. It's not like a cosmopolitan city of Panama, which is it, still inside the Panama city. All the buildings around are like skyscrapers, but this is more normal, you know? It's more laid back. Okay, so I know what this reminds me of. It reminds me of uh, La Condesa in Mexico City, where it's a little more, I mean, there's still a lot of traffic, a lot of people, but it's a little more calm down, more chill, more relaxed, not so many skyscrapers. I guess what it is, like all the buildings, all the tall buildings are residential, and there's less uh, business buildings, offices, office space and stuff like that. But uh, let's see, I don't know. Where the hell is this? Oh, it's right here. Alright guys, so this is a couch surfing meeting right here. Alright, so now this is the true couch surfing meeting. So we were in the couch surfing meeting and now we're going to Casco Vehicle where we're going to keep partying it up. We're just having a little... Tacos? Yeah, we are. And this guy right here in the street. Thank you. That's a good looking taco.